Do you have a hard time getting out of bed in the morning? Lack motivation, procrastinate, and not doing what you know needs to be done? Then, this video is for you. Mental health can bring us all to our knees and likely will at multiple times in our lives. We can feel worthless or have no motivation to do anything. Sometimes it can be hard even to get out of bed. And the more you think about it, the worse it gets. We only have one life though when life can be truly wonderful. And even if you only see darkness right now, there is light at the end of the tunnel. So let's talk about how you can get your motivation back and stage your comeback. Little by little, you need to start changing your inner voice. You need to turn it positive. Your inner voice will fight to keep you where you are because change is hard. You are stronger though. Life is hard and will throw you endless hurdles. Every hurdle you face, fight and overcome. And with each hurdle, you will get stronger and stronger. It is really important for your mind to get structure and exercise back in your life. A healthy morning routine is the first thing you wanna put in place. If you have a few goals in the morning that you can tick off, a positive trend will continue into the rest of the day. You will feel that you accomplished something and you will get a dopamine kick out of that. To get that next kick, you will be ready to accomplish the next thing. To give you an example of a morning routine, it could be to get up at 7 a.m. and go for a two mile run. The first few times this will be extremely hard and your inner voice will fight with you to stay in bed. You need to overcome that. Get yourself up, put your running shoes on and get outside. It's likely gonna be easier for you if you put your running shoes and clothes next to the bed before you go to bed at night. That takes some of the thinking and hesitation out of the equation. Just get up get dressed and go. Then you start running and you run as far as you can and when you feel you can't run anymore, you run a few more steps. Walk a bit if you need to. The important thing is that you get your routine in and do this every morning. Discipline is everything. Running is a great option because you need to start stimulating your mind. Getting an exercise routine going is proven by science to do just that. Set yourself some short and long-term goals. The long-term goal is your vision for yourself. Close your eyes and visualize yourself in the future. Who do you want to be when you reach your goal? What does that feel like? When you anchor your routine to a vision and some tangible short-term goals, it will be much more powerful. The fight inside you will get easier. The reason it becomes easier is because you've made your why clear. You know why you're having this fight with yourself every morning. You also know how and when to do it. When you've done it once, you also know that you can do it if you just get out there. Then you will feel better about yourself afterwards. The feeling of accomplishment and power of overcoming your own negative inner voice is amazing. Things will not change overnight. You will have to overcome a lot in the beginning. This is part of the fight though and we can all do it. And as we start seeing glimpses of sunshine and happiness again, it will start to get easier. Slowly but surely, as with anything else, patience is key. Then one day when the morning run has become routine, you can slowly start introducing more things. Gym a few times a week, a healthy breakfast for example, Humans are great at decoding if-then statements. So when you start setting up these habits, use that method. A few examples being, if it's 7 a.m., then go for a run. If it's Tuesday or Thursday, then go to the gym at lunch. If it's a weekday, then eat oatmeal for breakfast. And then when you start getting some of these healthy routines in, you can start applying the same mindset into work or school. Start by turning that inner voice positive. Really think about work and school and why you do it. Try to see the opportunity you have, not that it is something that you have to do every day. You have the choice and this is something you do because X, Y, and Z. That will help you define your why. Because if we only know the how and the what, motivation will not be there and you will never be fully engaged. Let's say you work in this nine to five job that you're not passionate about. If you know that you're doing it because you need the experience to get your dream job, it will get a lot easier. It will also absolutely help motivate you. 
Then set yourself some goals. Let's say you can't even study five minutes a day. Try to set that goal. I'm going to study five minutes a day. And then when you reach that goal, you set another goal. You say, I'm going to study for 15 minutes a day. And when you get to 15 minutes a day, you ask yourself, how can I get to 30? And then you keep that going. No rush. The important thing is that you slowly get to where you need to be. And do not forget to reward yourself. Not with something that goes against the routine that you set for yourself, but something that can really feel like a reward to you. If you find yourself playing video games when you should work or study, use video games as a reward. Set yourself some goals of work that you need to complete and then reward yourself with a bit of video games after. Whatever you do, do not cheat. If you cheat once, it's gonna be way easier to cheat again and again and again and again. Being supported by others will help, but the decision to start and keep going must come from you. And what you need from others is not sympathy. It's someone to help push you along, inspire you, someone to pick you up if you fall, brush you off and then push you along again. Again, you have one life. Don't wake up one day and regret that you didn't start your change journey earlier. Remember, life is hard. Your negative inner voice will fight hard to keep you where you are. You will fight harder though. You can overcome this. You can turn winter into summer. Start today. Stop looking back. Only look forward. Write your own life story and make it truly yours. Start now. Let me know down in the comments where you are right now and what you commit to. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video added some value to you. See you again next week.